And then there's another category called regulatory capital trades. And that started out at about $350 billion. It's now down to 230, and we'll get it down to, to uh, considerably less than that by the end of the first quarter in 2010. So they're, they're different metrics designed to measure different things. Appreciate your answers. Thank you. Uh, I think you've tried my patience. Now, the pink ladies, the signs are either going to be removed from the room or you're going to be removed from the room before I recognize another speaker. Now, do you wish to remain in the room? And th th those of you that are in pink with the signs, are you going to surrender those signs so they can be held for you later on, or do you want to be removed from the room? Officers, take the signs. Now, if I see any more signs on camera, you're going to be physically removed from this room. And as we watch the signs being removed, these are the Code Pink ladies. They started as an anti-war movement, but they have now proliferated at a lot of hearings, and they are carrying signs, some of which say uh, to get rid of Tim Geithner, who's become yeah, sort of the scapegoat for this. And now thank the subcommittee chairman, Kondorsky, is introducing Barney Frank, who will resume the questioning. Uh, good thing no one was wearing a T-shirt with this slogan. 